I bet most of you have been to a London Drugs, right? But what do you know about the company's founder? The Canadian Chinese Museum is offering you a couple ways to get to know more. Sarah Ling is the exhibition and program manager at the Chinese Canadian Museum. And Larry Chin is the co-producer of Seeds to Success, the film and tour. So welcome to the both of you. Sarah, how did this exhibit come about, first of all? Well, this exhibition was inspired by a traveling display that is currently in our gallery at 27 East Pender called A Tale of Two Families. Mm -hmm. That exhibit was produced by the Royal BC Museum and profiles both the H.Y. Louis family and the Guichon family, two of the oldest families uh, in our province. And so we recognize that the H.Y. Louis family really began, has its roots in Vancouver Chinatown, mm -hmm. and that there was such a long and deep legacy that we needed to explore and highlight even more. So that was really the impetus for developing the exhibition. And this tour really builds upon that as a program that uh, connects this story to Chinatown as a living museum itself. And, and so Larry, um, you know, you helped to uh, produce this, the film and the tour. What do participants actually do during the tour? Yeah, so the tour is component of two parts. Okay. The inside portion at the exhibit and the second half, we take them on a short walk, on a small journey from the exhibition space to the actual space where the H.Y. Louis family started. Mm. And so where do they start? You have to let me know. <laughs> yeah, we start at Pender Street, yeah. and we traverse two, three blocks and walk to East Georgia Street, oh. where the H.Y. Louis family started. Oh, very cool. And so how did you decide what to actually put in and include in the tour? There must be, you know, so much material. This family has had such a long legacy here, and they've done a, a lot. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was certainly was a challenge to really whittle down the story because... The Louis have such a rich and diverse history, mm -hmm. um, starting with Hockeyat, the pioneer who paid the head tax in 1898. By 1903, was able to open his first business in Vancouver Chinatown. And then eventually, in 1908, opened the uh, Kwong Chong Company, which then turned into H.Y. Louis at 255 East Georgia. Mm -hmm. And so, in consulting with his grandson, Brant Louis, current operator of the H.Y. Louis Company, where we were able to really just focus on how this family started out with really humble beginnings, overcame incredible challenges, as all Chinese Canadians did in the face of direct discrimination and racism, mm. but then really um, pass on their legacy to the, to the next generations, where they were able to diversify and grow the company. So we really follow that journey from you know, a man who came here with really nothing and then um, passed the torch now to the fifth generation of the family well over 120 years later. Yeah, for sure. And, and if I may yeah. add, uh, just in summary, from a timeline standpoint, we go from the early 1900s all the way to present day. Mm. So in the short span of two hours, we're going to walk you through about 110 years. Oh, wow. It's, it's going to be a quick walk. Yes. <laughs> Lots to go through. And Larry, you know, you're so passionate about this project. What, what do you love so much about it? Well, Chinatown is a living museum, as you heard Sarah say. We are very fortunate that we live in a city where a lot of these buildings are intact, mm -hmm. and a lot of the stories have not unfolded because they have not been told. It's not been in our textbooks. Mm -hmm. And through this exhibition, and the, I'm so excited about the Chinese Museum, is that these stories will now unveil itself. And most of us haven't had the opportunity to learn some of these stories. We may know fragments of it, and we're going to help tie it together so it makes sense for you. Right, for sure. And, you know, the Louis are such like a, um, a family that helped build some of the foundations mm -hmm. of the city, but not a name that you really know of, right, unless you, you're, you're, uh, you're uh, well-versed in the history of the city. Well, that's what's really exciting. I think a lot of people identify with London Drugs, IGA, as really household names. Mm -hmm. But then when you tell them, that uh, a Chinese-Canadian family, well over 120 years, uh, founded this company. They're just amazed. And I think it brings a lot of pride, especially to our Chinese-Canadian community, yeah, sure. to say, oh, wow, look at all of these hardships. It wasn't a, a simple journey. As mm -hmm. successful as this family was, uh, the challenges that they overcame really resonate with uh, the, a lot of the communities across the province. Yeah. Our goal is really to tell you a story. And I don't know if you, as a kid, I, you know, I was not keen on history because mm -hmm. a lot of facts, but we do this through storytelling. And the way to do that is really give you that span of time and immerse you in the space so that you're enveloped by the story. 
Right, and I love this idea that you actually walk some of the steps that they went through, you know, from that beginning. Um, so what do you think everyone in BC should know about H.Y. Louis and his legacy, Larry? Well, the story spans several generations because the H.Y. Louis family started with Hockeyat back at the turn of the last century to today. And there's four generations of the family that has carried on the business. So it's a family story, but it's also a business story. Mm -hmm. And that's what's wonderful about it. And that's how most of us grow up. We work, but we live. And these are the streets that they lived in. And it's absolutely an honor for Sarah and I to tell the story and walk the streets. Yes. Can I add to that? Yeah, I think course. what really speaks to me is that even though Hakiat Louis encountered the anti-Asian race riots and a lot of municipal and provincial policies that tried to drive out Chinese business owners, he always um, committed himself and his family to giving back. And so we have these really special letters handwritten yes. in traditional Chinese by Hakiat Louis when he was in China, the year that he passed away. So he's writing to his eldest son, Tim. Um, he left behind the, the vision he had for his family, which they follow as the business model and mantra today. And a lot of it was about being kind, being charitable, and you can see that the family still uh, really walks the talk in terms of yeah. making sure they don't forget their roots and that they give back to the community that um, really made them successful today. Mm -hmm. It's really quite a legacy. All right, so how long is the exhibit on for? Um, I hear that it may have been extended. Yes, yeah, so I'm happy to announce that we are extending the exhibition well into the new year. The Chinese Canadian Museum is really preparing for our grand opening at the Wing Sang Building, the oldest one in Chinatown, in July 2023. But until then, we have our exhibitions on display at the Hansing Sing at 2070 East Pender, and uh, we'll be offering more tours in the new year. Okay, all right. We all look forward to uh, seeing the new building, of course. But until then, a couple more months to go and check out uh, this tour and exhibit. Thank you so much to the two of you for joining us today. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for having us.